am studying is um, how males and females are different regarding their UV patterns because butterflies have the color that we can see, but they also have different patterns that are uh, not visible to the human eye, but they are visible to other butterflies. So I want to look, see how butterflies see each other um, and I want to find what are these patterns and how they have evolved in butterflies. So we work in a collection like this and what we do is that we use these specimens to and photograph them using a UV light um, and a special camera with a special filter so we can see these UV pattern that we wouldn't be able to see by just looking at them. Butterfly wing patterns have been studied for hundreds of years, but it's only until recently that we actually started to collect information on UV reflectance. Previously, people have been studying visual color, so red to purple, but actually butterflies can see in the UV spectrum. So we wanted to investigate um, the color. Do, we know that butterflies can see UV reflectance, but do they actually have it on their wings? Is it a useful signal? So we're taking thousands of pictures of pyrid butterflies, and we need a really efficient way to process all of these images um, in a time, timely manner. So what we're doing is um, batch processing all of the images using machine learning techniques. Uh, so these are um, deep learning techniques in a computer science framework. Also, um, the reason why we did this is because we want to test two uh, conflicting theories that are out there. One of them is from Darwin and another one is from the other, uh, another scientist called Wallace. And in Darwin's theory, uh, the reason why males and females are different is because of sexual selection. So the females are picking specific traits on the males that they prefer. And because of that, males are evolving differently from the females. But in Wallace's theory, uh, the reason why males and females look different is because there's natural selection, selecting specific traits on the females for them to look um, less, less uh, obvious to predators. So these are two conflicting ideas and we hope that using this, um, these images and also doing a reconstruction of this trait in the tree of life of butterflies, we can really understand which one of these theories better explain uh, the evolution of sexual dimorphism in butterflies.